Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my London walking videos. I am at Canary Wharf today with a friend here and uh, trying to show off my fancy 360 degree camera to her but not doing very well at the moment because the selfie stick is uh, not doing what it's supposed to be doing. I am trying to extend it out to its full length so that you can take a nice long shot view of the area. However, it wasn't having it. It kept collapsing back down on itself and then I'm trying to force it back up again. That's why you are seeing the picture going up and down, up and down, back and forth. Uh, that, is a, that was a struggle between us, trying to get it into place. Uh, I think I eventually got there in the end. Um, so it was a bit of struggle, but I think we're there and ready to start. Now, Canary Wharf is a new financial centre. Uh, you can probably tell everything is totally brand new. All the buildings are very modern, very uh, glass and steel. Actually, I think all of them are built on glass and steel. You can see all these tall high rises belong to various financial institutions and banks. Um, if you saw my Canada Water video, in there I mentioned that um, that area, Canada Water and Canary Wolf here, used to be basically the Docklands. Um, but then the Docklands became redundant. And then when the City of London, the financial centre in the City of London, needed to expand, they couldn't because the, the old city was, um, that's it, they couldn't expand any further. So they decided to move uh, the new financial centre to the east end of London, which is here. Canary Wharf. So uh, Canada Water is where most of the um, residential people, that's where people live. And most of the people that live there, I guess, works for um, all these different financial institutions and banks. That is based at Canary Wharf here. My friend and I are actually meeting up for lunch. Uh, we meet up once in a while to uh, catch up and have a nice chit chat. And um, as we are a bit early, we decided to go for a quick circular walk around here to give you an idea of what the area is like. Um, this is the um, only green bit I can see around here. It's really nice. It's a bit of an open space with some water feature and a um, nice bit of garden here. I guess it's very nice for uh, people to come and have lunch during their lunch break because all the buildings around here are actually uh, offices of various companies and institutions. Most of them are big banks like HSBC, Barclays, um, I don't know what else, but most of the banks have some office or some kind of presence around here. We were quite lucky with the weather at the moment because it's nice and dry and sunny. However, it was actually freezing cold. I didn't expect it to be this cold. Uh, I thought it was going to be nice and warm or a bit warmer than what we experienced at the time. Um, but by the time we managed to get the tube and got to Canary Wharf, uh, it seemed to feel a lot colder by then. Whether the temperature must have dropped a bit. Uh, but at least it's dry for now. So uh, we're having a nice walk here across this park and we'll be getting onto the streets in a minute. And once we're on the street, you will see that the whole place is nice and empty. That's because this was on a Sunday, uh, so no one is working. All the offices are empty, hence uh, there's no one around. We are having the whole place to ourselves.
we have now almost done a circular walk. We have basically come back to um, the front of Canary Wolf 2 station where we started from at the beginning. Uh, but we're not going to go there. We're going to head down toward the street here to look for our restaurant where we have booked a table for two for our lunch. And by the way, the building on the right hand side here, the one with all these um, lettering, the news running around the side of the building here, this is Reuters. This is the Reuters building and I think it's the UK headquarters. I think Reuters itself, their offices are on the upper floors. On the ground floor level, you can see uh, just restaurant, bars and other shops. Um, but unless they have moved, their office was up on the, uh, they occupied two or three floors on the upper levels. At least that's how it was about 10 or so years ago when I went in and had a look at the place. And here is our restaurant. We have really worked up an appetite and looking forward to um, having our lunch here. This, I think it's only the second time I can remember having French food. The first time um, also in Café Rouge at another branch somewhere else. And I can't remember it being that good, but this time was absolutely perfect. It was excellent food. I totally love it. I am sure I will come back and have the same thing again at some point in time. But I will be writing a blog on it, so head over to my blog site to read all about it. Hopefully I'll get time to write it and put it up soon. And here's a quick preview of what we had for lunch that day. Really, really nice. If you want more detail, head over to my blog site where I um, write about my lunch dates for the last year or so. Um, detail of the link to the blog site is in the description box. Our plan was that after lunch, we will just basically head back out towards the outside, walk around the area, especially around the canal and the riverside, because that would be quite nice. And the weather was quite nice and sunny up until then, but as soon as we left the restaurant, honestly, within a minute, the sky opened up, rain came pouring down, the wind was blowing up a gale force kind of wind, there was no way that we could walk around the outside in that kind of weather. So we ran towards Canary Wharf 2 station and dive into it. So here we are, back into the safety of the underground. And there was nothing for it but go for a long tour of window shopping around the area. So we head over here first to, as in, I think this is Jubilee Place um, shopping centre in the underground. And we thought we'd just walk around until the storm blows over and rain die down sort of thing but it didn't happen it just continued raining and horrible weather outside for ages uh, so basically from now on i am just walking around this uh, shopping center it's very nice lots of lovely things to see actually quite therapeutic uh, but it means that we are just seeing lots of shopping shopping consumerism really and you may notice uh, i get quite a few stares uh, for having this camera sticking out of me but well by this time I have grown quite a thick skin um, I'm not bothered anymore so I just plodded along with my camera recording everything in sight and making this lovely video for you to watch you may notice the shopping center is nice and quiet similar to at the beginning of the video when we were walking around the office area all the offices were closed and empty. That's because this was on a Sunday. Uh, so with the absence of all those workers, 
the shopping center is nice and quiet, which is very good because it gives us a nice clear view of the whole place. Uh, normally, it will be a mass of humanity and um, all you can see is a whole bunch of people all over the place. So today, very nice. We had a nice therapeutic walk, just window shopping, looking at all these beautiful items. But luckily, I can report that we did not succumb to buying anything. We have finished wandering around Jubilee Place Shopping Mall, I think, which is one side of the underground station. So we now head back out into the concourse and crossing over to the other side. This is Canada Place Shopping Mall. So um, we headed over and went for another long tour of window shopping on this side of the underground.
The rain stopped, so we venture back outside the street again, still a bit cold, but at least it's sort of um, not raining for the moment. Um, I think we are on a slightly different side to where we started at the beginning of the video, but the look and feel is still the same. We are still surrounded by a load of what seems like buildings made of pure glass and steel, very modern, very 21st looking kind of thing. However, we are now heading towards the more residential area of the place and we will be coming across various um, derelict spots where it hasn't been developed upon yet and that would give you a good idea of what this place would have looked like had it not been built upon and you, know, you are seeing what you are seeing right now at the moment.
We are now coming to the work in progress area of the building site. Uh, this is uh, more of the residential kind of building, which I mentioned earlier. As you can see on the right hand side, there are lots of flats and housing being built. Um, I guess work is stopping at the moment because it's a weekend and everyone's having a day off. But you can tell it's more housing flat development because these are more concrete uh, residential area rather than the uh, glass and steel that we saw earlier. That's on the right hand side. On the left hand side is the sort of the derelict area looking more like a car park at the moment and I am guessing that um, had there been no development going on the entire area would probably look roughly what the left hand side is looking like at the moment and in fact uh, this building work, this development is going on all over London, especially in the east end of London since the London 2012 Olympics. This entire area has been totally um, revamped, rebuilt and developed into what you are seeing. This housing development continued down for quite a while. I'll be walking for another half an hour or so down this road with this um, building work carrying on all the way down to the end. Unfortunately, this was where my battery is about to run out. I didn't realise it. It was only afterward that I saw that um, the battery come to an end here. So we are coming to the end of this video because uh, the battery is about to give up the ghost. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again in the next video. Bye!